Zonique on missing out spending time with mom Tiny Harris during her childhood. It's the filter that I really need. I'm about to get my lashes done, some braids. I'm so tired of my hair. Like, for real. Am I taking friend applications, girl? You do not want to be my friend. I am telling you. I was just on Twitter tweeting about how I'm such a sh friend. And you see Nay talking about she had like I hardly checked up on that hoe so why would you want to be my friend for real like it's me trying to make it sound sad to make Nick feel bad but for real I'm not a good friend which is why um which is why only I just I just with the people that I that know me you know because they understand me I don't have to you know get to know y'all and motherfucking worry about you know what? Stop saying it because you think I'm a good friend, Nate. Just say it. Just say it. <laughs> because honestly, y'all, Nate is my friend. She is a good friend. She just play too much. See, that's what I was about to say. Nate is my friend who she don't play about the friendship. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's very much more than the friendship. My friends, all my friends are really not my friends. They either my motherfucking cousins. They my cousins slash sisters. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's way more than that, but Nay do not play about, you know, her relationships and like that. So I got one emotional friend already or or passionate. That's what I got to say. It's not giving emotional, it's passionate. I'm going to say Nay is the passionate one. Beja is the motherfucking emotional one. Lolo is the motherfucking wild card. I am not about to label myself because I don't know what the fuck I really give. You know what I'm saying? Not yet. I'm a great friend. Yeah, see? And they stand on that. So if, if she feel like you not giving what she giving, she about to come on your phone with a paragraph. And you know she gonna give what the fuck are you doing? And I'm gonna be like, I mean like, you know, what I need to do more. Like I'm her nigga. That would it give. That now I gotta be the whole nigga because she gonna cuss me out because I ain't text her and check on her. It's the Sagittarius. It's me shoot. What you say before that? And a better girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, that whole crazy. That was she. You see what I'm saying about the friendship? The whole crazy. You get in a relationship with her, and yeah, it's gonna be worse. Cause she gonna be like, child, I can't even. I really can't even be Nay because this whole take it to the extreme. She just cares so much, and I just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> My care level is bad. It's always been like that, though. And that's why I f with my folks who with me and know this bitch don't even really care. Like, they know. They know. She noticed. She'll still try to get on me about it. But she know in the back of her. She'll be like, try to give me a little slack. Like, you know, Neek Neek don't give a f Or, I mean, Zanique. Like, you know, like, she'll try to give me that Cause she just know who I, she know how I am, but she, at the same time she's still mad as that you know something anything. <laughs> me you the same me keep my mother knew. Hey keep know me bitch. Should we not know each other from love? Was it before middle school? Look I be swearing I've known people forever. Me and keep met in my middle school. If you ain't know me in middle school, wait no I knew keep before middle school did I? I feel like I had to. Whenever Beja knew Keep, I knew Keep because, you know, I used to be coming over and trying to hang with these folks because I was going to the Christian school. I was like, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, like, I was trying to be turned up. And, like, my friends over there was turned up. I said, Mama, please let me go to school downtown. My last year in middle school, they sent me to Emmett. I was like, I thought I was doing something, okay? Keep is my motherfucking girl. She know. Me and Keith really do be on the same shit. You just be to yourself. Yeah. So, you know, they will take that into consideration, but she still will cuss my out, cuss my ass out at any moment. And I just be confused because, you know, I just, I be thinking it's not that serious. I'm like, and if she try, and, and honestly, I be telling her, like, you're not going nowhere. Like, I be having to talk to this hoe like she my girlfriend, which in a sense she is. <laughs> I'll be like, where are you going? Like, talk to me. 
Cause they will, they will be like, she don't, she be trying to go easy on me. I'm not gonna lie. She'll be like, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. I'm not gonna say what I feel because I think she be thinking she gonna hurt my feelings. I be like, girl, say what you got to say. Like, I'm not gonna cry about it. Say it, say it. Like, talk to me, talk to me, baby. <laughs> yes, because sometimes I have to remind you to have feelings. Like, you my. Yeah, like we is in a whole relationship. I'm telling you, like that's why I be having to keep up with this whole name because I know that if I don't I'm getting a paragraph sent to my phone and we gotta figure it out right here right now because she feels away and child all my friends you know they are something they are something to talk about I'm telling you what about QT Jazz QT Jazz is my dick let me tell you, y'all know Jasmine been with me since the motherfucking beginning. Like, if you know me, you know motherfucking QT Jazz because <laughs> I'm telling you, I grew up with all my friends, literally, literally. And I don't talk to Jasmine as much, and she lives in LA. But every time I talk to her, it would just be the same. Yeah, I love to go to LA and see Jazz. She always pull up on me. Hey, Kalia Leah, my Leah Leah, baby. I ain't seen you in forever. Yeah. I ain't never gonna see you no more. I already know it. I already know it. I'm just gonna have to come to DC. When am I ever gonna come to DC, child? Isaac. Yeah, my n****s are in here today. Let me tell you. I'm telling you. If I'm calling your name out, it's because we know each other for real, on a real level. Never forget the handshake. Hey. I forgot that handshake. I'm not going to lie. Isaac, you know I got a bad memory. Y'all, I don't know Isaac since, like, sixth grade middle school. I had to say sixth grade middle school. Yes, nay, Isaac is on here. Bitch. What the f*** going on? I don't know Isaac since sixth grade middle school. I'm saying sixth grade middle school because it is the beginning of middle school. <laughs> and what? I didn't even go to this school Isaac and Jasmine go to went to the same school that's where this is coming from I want to go to everybody else's school so on the weekends I was outside y'all I swear I was always outside as a kid why because when you got parents who you know do shit in the industry you know how y'all try to make it seem like oh you know celebrity kids they just got the best lifestyle my parents I ain't never seen them my parents I ain't never seen them I ain't never seen my parents I ain't never seen my parents. Let's just call it out. Like, let's just call it what it is. Like, these folks busy. They is, they busy. <laughs> and now that I'm older, I don't even, you know, I'm not, I don't care about that. I love my folks. It is what it is. I live a great lifestyle, and that's because these folks was putting in the work. They had me, and they said, I got to get to the work. Go to your grandma's house, and whatever. And my grandma let me do whatever I want to do. If I want to go over their house, and then I want to go to their house, and I want to go to their house, and I want to go to That's where I was at. You get what I'm saying? I was everywhere. That's why when you look at my old pictures and my throwbacks, I'm at everybody's house. <laughs> In some poor soul clothes, because my mom ain't even pet me no more bad. <laughs> And they, that voice that voicemail is legendary. I'm crying. It's the fact when they you said it, leave a message. Man, Isaac used to call his ass, he ain't answer, he like leave a message. <laughs> it's the fact that But yeah, like this is what I was trying to tell y'all. Like y'all was at home with y'all mamas and daddies watching movies. You know what I'm saying? Maybe y'all had some rough times and I'm I'm sure everybody do. I'm not trying to downplay nobody, but I'm just saying this was my this was my rough. Cause I say it to this day. You go read my motherfucking diary. I'm crying for my mama every day in the diary. But in song. Because I wanted to be a singer from the very beginning. So I was writing it in song in song version. Please do not call my mama in here. Because she going to cuss me out. She don't want me to tell the bad. My mama be like, girl, I was there. Let me call my mama. That's what I'm saying. Like, I love her. But my mama was gone, baby. She was getting to the money. Somebody gonna be texting me like, you're saying too much. That's how my team, that's how my team be. They be like, you're saying too much. On 9, um, 30 in LA. I've been dreading going to LA and these folks just keep trying to get me to go. I'm gonna go. I guess I'm gonna go. Wait, it's 210. No, I'm not going to call my mom because I don't know if she's in L.A. And if she's in L.A., she's going to be all sleepy and not turned up. 
Girl, my mama sent me to my grandma's house with a with a food lion grocery bag. Okay, I heard that. Not that be me texting you. LOL. What was you talking about? Shade room already on it, already on what? They gonna be like, Lonnie admits that her that her parents were not around. Okay, but like they love me. Like, okay. <laughs> it's me trying to fix it before it get on there and then my mama be like, What is you saying? You know what I'm saying? Put this on there too. I love my mama like she did what she had to do. And I'm so thankful. I had a great childhood. That's the that's the thing. I was raised like a normal ass child because at the end of the day I'm normal, you know, this would thing this would just thing be. But I think maybe real celebrity kids grew up a different way for me. Cause I was in the neighborhood riding bikes and shit with the motherfucking next door neighbors and shit like that. Me and my grandpa used to ride bikes after school. Like I just lived such a normal ass life. That's the thing. I mean normal as hell. Ask my auntie. She's like, girl, you come over for the whole week with no, with no, um, with no clothes and no money to eat. Now, growing up, she said this my whole life, and I never really believed it. But then when I seen, um, not real celebrity kids, but I'm telling you, Jatavia, like me and the real celebrity kids, I don't think we the same. Like I don't even know why people put me in that category. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.